Today I learned that a guy called Dale Schroeder used his life savings to send 33 students to college. He grew up poor in Iowa, never married, had no children, and worked as a carpenter at the same company for 67 years and only owned two jeans. Dot. Dale Schroeder, 1919-2005, was a carpenter who worked 67 years for the same firm, Moel Millwork, in Des Moines, Iowa. He lived frugally, owning only two pairs of blue jeans, one for work and one for attending church on Sundays. He never married or had children and his $3 million estate paid for the college education of 33 Iowans. Schroeder grew up poor and wanted to help people like himself attend college. As a result of his generosity, 33 beneficiaries have graduated from college or university without debt. They include both men and women. Many have trained as medical doctors and teachers. The final beneficiary received the final $80,000 of Schroeder's bequest and graduated as a therapist in 2019. He was that kind of a blue-collar, lunch-pail kind of a guy. Went to work every day worked really hard, was frugal like a lot of Iowans, Steve Nielsen, Schroeder's lawyer who helped arrange the scholarships, told CNN. I never got the opportunity to go to college and so I'd like to help kids go to college, Schroeder told Nielsen 14 years ago, the lawyer said. Nielsen's jaw dropped when the working-class tradesman told him the amount he had saved. Schroeder ended up doing just that 33 times over. I grew up in a single-parent household and I had three older sisters so paying for all four of us was never an option, Kiera Conrad, the last of the 33 to have their college tuition paid in full by Schroeder's fund, told CNN. For a man that would never meet me, to give me basically a full ride to college, that's incredible. That doesn't happen. The 33 Iowans Schroeder put through college gathered around his old lunchbox this past Saturday. They dubbed themselves Dale's Kids. It was a group of doctors, teachers and therapists with no college debt. Schroeder is gone, so there's no paying it back. His only wish was they pay it forward by emulating his generosity. Here's what the Redditors of TIL had to say about this. Slash a panda with the top comment says. There's something so beautiful and tragic about this. A stranger gave his life's work away to help others attain what he never had the chance to. If that's not wholesome then I don't know what is. The Knox replies. Society grows great when old men plant trees whose shade they know they shall never sit in, Darkest Star adds. Similarly the only wealth you truly keep is the wealth you give away. Zappa Wench also adds. Store up your treasure in heaven, which can never be taken away from you. Likewise, education can't be taken away from people either. Barring something drastic like a stroke, before some Reddit pedant starts arguing with me, advanced follower says. I agree it's very wholesome and nice, but at the same time it shows how flawed the system is. It's supposed to be the land of opportunities, but for example in my country, Sweden, college and university are free, or rather, every working citizen helps pay for it. Of course you still have to pay for food, literature, housing etc. but it does give people a lot more opportunities. It also results in a more skilled and educated workforce which benefits the country. Too much racism in Canada. He said, I never got the opportunity to go to college. So, I'd like to help kids go to college, Nielsen said. Not only did Schroeder have enough money to send a few kids to college, he had enough saved to send dozens. Finally, I was curious and I said, how much are we talking about, Dale? And he said, oh, just shy of three million dollars. I nearly fell out of my chair, Nielsen remembered. John underscore Naz replies. Honestly curious how he ended up with three million dollars working as a carpenter. Also good lord, three million only sending thirty-three kids to school. Our system is so fucked. Correct as the math. I threw some numbers into a compound interest calculator. If you put away twenty-five thousand dollars a year, in monthly payments of two thousand and eighty-three dollars, for sixty-seven years at five percent interest compounded annually, you would have twelve million six hundred and thirty-nine thousand seven hundred and twenty-two dollars. So basically just make a decent salary, good carpenters make good money, spend very little, see post title, and Iowa is a cheap place to live, save it all and invest it in something boring and stable. The S&P 500 annual return rate over the period 1957 to 2018 was 7.9%, so we could do another calculation with less optimistic parameters.
$1,200 monthly contribution, for 40 years. Let's assume Dale didn't start to make good money until he had a few years under his belt, at 7%, so slightly underperforming the S&P average. That gets you $2,874,745, or just shy of $3 million. The main thing working for him was time, even if he started working when he was 15, he stayed on the job until he was 82. That's unusual both in terms of staying physically fit while doing a physical job and in terms of a company keeping someone around and working full time. But still, compound interest is your friend. Code and Gand Algorithms says. I'm a lonely guy in my late 20s and I recently read somewhere that lonely men are the demographic that's most likely to commit suicide. I wouldn't say I'm suicidal but I wake up some days and wonder if there's a point to any of this and why I am even alive. I would love to know more about this guy's thought process and how he spent his time and how he found a purpose in life. I was really hoping that he wrote an autobiography or a journal or something like that but wasn't able to find anything after googling it. Edit, lots of good advice in this thread. Thank you for the support guys. Ravenanian says. I hope the 33 students he helped will write a chapter reach on how their life was like and how this college grant helped them and what they learned in college then send it to an editor to have it organized and edited into a cohesive book, then published and sold with all proceeds going towards college grants, making Dale Schroeder truly a man who lived forever through his kindness. Thanks for watching, today I learned by the Reddit King. Please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications.